Praise, honor, and glory of Abi Ave Yushua and the precious Rock HaKadish, Holy Spirit. And I just wanted to share a testimony um, for the glory of Yushua that um, took place in my life. And as we all know, Yushua HaMashiach, the one whom I serve and made a conscious decision to serve with my mind body soul spirit and strength with all of it given to him we all know that he for the remission of our sins shed his blood at calvary as in yushua the son of god jesus christ came down from the throne from the right hand of yahweh to come on earth in the form of man the word made flesh and was made lower than the angels and took up a cross was he was persecuted beaten beyond recognition had a crown of thorns jammed into his head for the remission of our sins as he hung on that tree and then died but wait we all know that Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, rose again on the third day so that our sins through his shed blood may be washed away as in tossed into the sea of forgetfulness, sins as far as the east is from the west, and they may be forgiven, erased no longer to be brought up. For we know only the devil brings up the sins that have already been washed away by the shed blood of Yeshua. And so, I'm here to share a testimony um, and to reprove one who, who calls himself. You know, this person is, um, Jesus is my guy 777. They're, they're a coward because they have yet to shown their face. Um, and to re basically to reprove this comment that was placed on my channel and before I continue I want you to see the comment again here it is Jesus is my God, 777. First of all, I am not ashamed of my son, whom is a gift from heaven, through the mercy Yeshua had upon me and my son's mother. Even though we were living in sin, in fornication, and we played house, basically, before we came to a mighty one ministry that's what i'm ashamed of is living in sin okay jesus is my guy 777 or you go by the name david i don't know but i'm just gonna call you david david what i'm ashamed of is living in sin living in unholiness 
offending God Yahweh and displeasing him. That's what I'm ashamed of. Now, me and my son's mother, we thought, we believed that we were married before the eyes of God, you see. And reading the prophecies out of Mighty Wind Ministry convicted us. And we repented of this sin, fornication. We repented of the abominations that we were involved in. Through a mighty wind ministry, as Yahweh God, Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit used Elizabeth Elijah to warn me and my girlfriend, who was my girlfriend at the time, so that we will not inherit hellfire and burn for eternity for one sin because just one sin, it just takes one sin that is not covered by the shed blood of Yeshua and you will burn in hell fire for eternity. You will suffer under the wrath of God for eternity. And this is what the message is, the holy prophecies given to prophet Elizabeth Elijah. And oh, this proves right here that she is not a false prophet. Through these messages, I was convicted greatly by the anointing, the Holy Spirit that is in, this me in these messages, the Holy Prophecies, and I turned away from fornication. I turned away from that sin. And so did the mother of my child. Now you see, we then, as we were serving Yeshua, and we found the truth side of Mighty Wind Ministry, Yeshua gave us a warning he said, you either marry or separate. And we chose to separate for reasons that is not anyone's business because we still both love Yeshua and we could hear in these messages, these holy prophecies, we could hear the voice of Yeshua telling us to put him first in our life and love to put him as master and Lord over our lives. And people, once again, this proves how wicked, how evil, Pastor George C's Nehemiah Center cult is. This wannabe pastor leading this unity gathering, this coven that is purely of the devil as they seek my information and they seek my past to bring up past sins that are washed by the shed blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. 1 John chapter 1 verse 7 clearly says that the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sins if we walk in the light. And to walk in the light, it's not just, oh, I claim to walk in the light. No, it's you walk holy. For the scripture says, be ye holy as I am holy, as Yahweh God is holy. For you, Shuhamashik, Jesus Christ said, go and sin no more. Be ye perfect as my heavenly Father is perfect. See, Yahweh God does not condone sin. Show me in scripture, somebody show me in scripture where God Yahweh condones sin. Because if I'm correct, in Revelations he says, the sorcerers, the whoremongers, those who are in idolatry, the adulterers, the fornicators, will all inherit the second death, eternal damnation and they will suffer in the lake of fire. Yahweh God does not condone this wickedness. Therefore, I repented, like I said earlier, I repented of this sin, understanding that if I did not repent, I will be in the lake of fire, suffering for eternity. So understand this, David, you hypocrite. 
You fake Christian. You are a Satanist in disguise, a wolf in sheep's clothing, which Yeshua warns us about such that will come. I rebuke you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And people, understand that this man and this unity gathering called the Nehemiah Center <laughs> will lead you to the Antichrist and the Great Tribulation. So I advise you, stay away from such people. As you see, they show their fruit. As they write me a comment, they sought my information, got information about my past, and tried to happily throw it in my face, <laughs> which I'm here reproving them, sh reminding them that the blood of you shall washes these sins away. If they knew their Bible, they would know this. <laughs> but like the scripture says, the devil is only out to steal, kill, and destroy. And that is what these people's agenda this is their agenda on YouTube against the Mighty One Ministry and any other holy ministry who walks holy before God Almighty, who does not compromise with the sins that they do and that they indulge in and love. Like Gluteus Illuminatus, who brags that whatever Yahweh God doesn't like, he loves. Whatever sin to Yah, he wants and loves. Just pure blasphemy. And these are the people who are writing these things to us, trying to bring up our past. And ye who is among y'all, cast ye the first stone, ye who is without sin, as Yeshua said, when they tried to find something to accuse him, because the adulterer was forgiven. You shall have the authority to forgive sins, as he still does, and praise Yah for the blood he shed at Calvary, which now cleanses us from sin, so we may be set free from the bondage of iniquity and sin. And then they tried to accuse Yeshua, and he said, He who is without sin among you, cast ye the first stone. And that is my message to you today. For those who think that I'm still living in this sin. For those who think that I did not repent and that the blood of Yeshua did not cover this sin. That Yeshua HaMashiach's sacrifice was not enough to cover this sin. Which I rebuke you for in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Understand this. If you have fallen into the sin, into fornication, where you are now having a child within, but you come to Yeshua HaMashiach and you repent of this sin, do not believe such people like that would do this and throw it in your face and cast stones at you after you repented, causing women to, to get abortions in this way, which Yahweh God looks at as sin, as an abomination. Please do not get an abortion. The blood of Yeshua HaMashiach can wash the sin away if you truly ask for forgiveness, if you truly turn away from this sin. Just like any believer. They had a past. They were sinners. That is the same with me. Before I became a true Holy Spirit filled born again believer, I was in sin. I had to acknowledge I was in sin. And I had to ask you for forgiveness. I had to repent and turn away from wickedness that I may be filled with the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit does not dwell in a tabernacle of sin. So, the Holy Spirit will not dwell in no lukewarmness. Someone who just goes to church and yet goes home and continues in their abominations before God, Yahweh. No, it does not work that way. 
Your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. If, you're, if the temple is defiled, the Holy Spirit will not dwell within. And this is my testimony that I wanted to share to reprove this, this wickedness. Because David, Jesus is my guy, 777, Pastor George C, Roger, and all you blasphemers, you God mockers and God haters, I rejoice in the name of Yeshua because I am forgiven and I am a blood-bought son of God Yahweh. And I praise him for this. It is for the glory of Yeshua. Now I have this testimony. And now I may use this testimony to bring my God Yeshua glory so others will turn away from the same sin I used to be in. I am no longer in this sin. In the name of Yeshua, they will be set free from these things. Because he who is in Messiah, he who the Messiah sets free is free indeed. And I have been set free from this sin. And so has the mother of my child because I'm still paying child support for this child. We're still responsible for this child. We both take care of this child together. Separately, we live separately, but we work things out as grown-ups, as mature Holy Spirit-filled believers to take care of this child. So I don't see what the problem is, David. I truly don't see what the problem is. And so now we see the fruit. Once again, we're showing the Christian community the fruit of this wicked new age church, this new age gospel they're preaching. These new agers, which I rebuke them all in the name of Yeshua. And I pray that the Christian community will be able to have spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear. Understanding that the road to heaven is narrow and the path to hell is broad. You know how many people are preaching? Oh, love, love, and, and live lukewarmness and let's heal the world and everyone can unite light and darkness. Satan is an atheist. And Christians and, and, and no, 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 no. It does not work this way, Christian community. Yahweh God only has a remnant. He always only had a remnant. A few. Many are called, but few are chosen, says the word of God, Yahweh. I rebuke this lukewarmness going on in the Christian community in the name of Yeshua. Snap out of this. For the lukewarm, Yahweh God said in Revelations, will be spewed forth into the great tribulation. He will spew them forth. He will vomit them. For lukewarmness is an abomination to God. You are neither hot nor cold. And so I hope for those who are, who are seeking the truth to give heed to this message. I hope you were able to see this day the fruit of the wicked ones which I exposed, and you were able to see the fruit of a mighty wind ministry and see that a mighty wind ministry produces good fruit because it truly caused me to turn away from sin. Okay? And now I have holy brothers and sisters whom I work alongside with in this great harvest field to reach souls for Yeshua as a Mighty Wind Ministry does in 25 different languages for the glory of Yeshua alone. Because all those who work alongside Apostle Elizabeth Elijah, we all had to make a big decision, a conscious decision, and that is, we, and that is to live holy. We must live holy before God Yahweh. If I rebuke that lie, that is straight from hell in the name of Yeshua. 
saying that we can't go living holy without purposely sinning. It is a conscious choice. You have a choice to make, decisions to make. And I chose, I made a decision to truly repent of my sin and turn to Yahushua. And I pray that many will do this in the name of Yeshua. For it is not God's desire, says in the word, it is not God's desire for his people to perish. It is not God's desire for mankind to perish, but they will. Many will perish because Yeshua said in Luke 13, 5, repent or you will perish. Yahweh God said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And this day, for those who are listening to this video, you have received the knowledge of truth. You have received knowledge. Now what you do with this knowledge is not my responsibility. It is now yours. The blood is not on my hands for I have warned you this day to repent or perish for God Yahweh has told me for the glory of Yeshua to prepare ye the way of the Lord. He told me to prepare the way for his son Yeshua's coming. And I do by crying out, repent or perish people. For I speak to you this testimony that does not bring me shame. I'm not ashamed of my testimony for it brings Yeshua glory as it shows the power in his sacrifice, the power of his shed blood that can set people free from sin. For those who say, it's too hard to live holy. I can't do it. I can't live holy. I have one message for you. How will you be able to do it then in the great tribulation? How then will it be easier in the great tribulation where all hell will break loose on the earth, where the wrath of God will dwell on the earth in the, as the great tribulation continues. What will you do then? How will you be able to do it? Because the guest of Yeshua, those who are the guest, you will have to give up your life. Many will have to have their head taken off in a guillotine. Many will be martyred for the sake of Yeshua. But the bride of Yeshua will be raptured because Yeshua HaMashiach is coming soon. And we rejoice in this message. Amen. We rejoice in this message, knowing that our God, our Savior, Yahushua, has not forsaken us, nor will he forsake us. And so this is my message to you. And once again, David, I rebuke you and every single lie you've spoken against the Mighty Wind Ministry and against me and against Prophet Elizabeth Elijah in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. And I praise Yeshua once again as he gave me the strength, as he anointed me to make this video for his glory alone. Amen, amen. In Yeshua Mashik's name.